Hello there my wonderful royal fans, today's installment. Many celebrities reportedly still want to associate with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in private. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have kept a low profile following the release of the latter's book Spare. However, they were spotted at Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi's renewal of vows. A royal editor weighed in on the royal couple's toxic reputation in Hollywood. Meghan Markle, Prince Harry, too toxic in public. Talk TV's royal editor, Sarah Hewson, has raised the question of whether the royal couple is too toxic to be seen in public following the things that divulged about the royal family. Many disapproved of them airing their dirty laundry in public. However, despite the drama they caused, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex reportedly still have a lot of supporters from Hollywood celebrities. It was thought that they had a big cohort of celebrities supporting around them. Houston said while speaking on Sky News Australia, Express reported. According to her, Oprah Winfrey is one of the greatest champions of the royal couple. She also acknowledged that Markle's absence at Winfrey's 69th birthday party, which featured influential women including Jennifer Lopez, Jessica Alba, Kim Kardashian and more, had raised eyebrows. Whether the pair is because they are seen as too toxic, too negative to be associated with in the public eye at least, perhaps behind closed doors, celebrities are still waiting to associate themselves with them. Why was Meghan Markle not invited to Oprah Winfrey's birthday? Royal experts have mixed opinions about the Duchess of Sussex's absence at Oprah Winfrey's birthday bash. I live in LA and have spent years in PR, Kingsley Schofield, royal commentator and host for the To Die For Daily podcast told Fox News Digital. Word on the street is that Harry and Meghan aren't invited anyway because all eyes would be on them and it would distract from the cause or the event. The reality is that they are seen as drama. They are also considered untrustworthy and a private conversation you have with them could end up repeated on a podcast, a reality show or within a book. American journalist Christopher Anderson had another take on the matter. He said he had interviewed Winfrey several times and the TV host is loyal. He doubts that there is a falling out between Winfrey and the Sussexes. Instead, he believed that they were taking things down low. My reading of the situation is that both Oprah and the Sussexes realize this is a very delicate moment for Harry and Meghan as we approach the coronation of King Charles, he said. That would certainly rub King Charles the wrong way, not to mention an already hostile British public. I'm certain Harry and Meghan remain on friendly terms and are keeping the whole Oprah, H&M thing on the down low. However, Anderson might be wrong. Just days after Winfrey's birthday, Prince Harry and Markle were in a star-studded gathering at Portia de Rossi's 50th birthday, which she surprisingly turned into a renewal of her vows with wife Ellen DeGeneres. Are Prince Harry and Meghan Markle toxic? Do you think Hollywood celebrities are avoiding them? Or are they just keeping things down low? Stay tuned for more news and updates about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Goodbye for now.